Good morning, everybody. It's so good to be with you this morning. This year, our nation celebrates the 100th anniversary of Irving Berlin's God Bless America. This beloved inspired song is regarded by many as a second national anthem. It is a prayer, really, and quite fitting for our event this morning. With us today, to perform this special song is an equally special, well-known opera singer of Italian origin, Luciano La Monarca. Luciano has performed throughout the world, especially in the United States and Europe, and is highly regarded for his gift. You will find a CD recording of the song at your table as our gift to you. The recording can also be downloaded for free at the NCPB website. Today, we are most grateful to have Luciano sing for us and with us this special song from his heart. You are invited to join him the second time through. Please welcome the Goodwill tenor, Luciano La Monarca. While the storm clouds gather far across the sea, let us wear allegiance to a land that's free. Let us all be grateful for our
just amazing. I'm Lauren Ashburn, Managing Editor and Anchor of EWTN News Nightly, joined by Jason Calvi, also of EWTN News Nightly. That was Luciano Lamanarca performing God Bless America, 100 years old. What a wonderful song. And then all the, the whole crowd here, a thousand people, joined in and singing that song as well. What a powerful tune for, for America. It is, and it's a hymn that has just touched the hearts of so many people for generations. Generations, from war to peace, and especially after 9-11. Let's take a look at the history of it right now, if you don't mind. Irving Berlin, a Jewish immigrant who fled persecution in Russia, wrote this song during the storm clouds of World War I. But it didn't see the light of day for 20 years. Singer Kate Smith premiered it on the radio. Music scholar Cheryl Kaskowitz literally wrote the book on the song. When it was performed on Armistice Day in the fall of 1938, it actually had a, a message to stay out of the war. It included a line that was, um, let us all be thankful that we're far from there. By 1939, as Nazi horrors shocked the world, Berlin changed that line to, let us be grateful for a land so fair. After the Second World War, Kaskowitz says the song promoted tolerance. God Bless America struck a chord with 1960s civil rights activists, as well as supporters of the Vietnam War. And the song brought healing after September 11th. The famous American composer never made a dime from this song. He donated his royalties to the Boy and Girl Scouts of America. Irving Berlin's music has played such an important role in American history that it's no wonder right here at the National Museum of American History, tucked in with items like a chalice from World War II as well as a nurse's uniform, you can check out his very own piano, the composer of other American hits like White Christmas. He died in New York City at the age of 101, 29 years ago. But his music doesn't just live on in the history books, it also lives on in the hearts of Americans. Send me some 